Hi guys, so I have a little bit of a different filming setup because my room is just like an utter mess and I've been non-stop traveling and just working and it's just been really crazy but I wanted to do an April favorites video for you guys and I actually didn't post a March favorite so um, this is kind of like a March slash April favorites video so let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start off with the only hair thing that I have and that is the Moroccan oil, the light version. Um, I have, I don't even remember why I stopped using Moroccan oil. Um, I think what happened was I was just like, thought it was too expensive and was like, I don't know if like it's actually doing something for my hair. But in the short, like kind of like month and a half that I've been using it, I think that it's made a really big difference. The only like thing is that I know whenever I travel, I don't take this and I've been gone literally like almost all of this month and last month I was traveling a lot too. So, um, but I really like Moroccan oil. I think that it has a lot of nutrients for your hair. Your hair just feels really great after you use it. And I like that you can use it on wet or dry hair. Um, and Moroccan oil is Moroccan oil. Like I know I've used the other like Moroccan oil, like kind of thing that you can get at the, at the, from the organics brand and it's not the same thing I mean even though it says Moroccan argan oil or whatever it's just different so I recommend Moroccan oil if, if you've never tried it and you're trying to make your hair healthy and a little bit more shiny and manageable definitely try Moroccan oil out my favorite skincare product that I've been using lately is the Cora's Kerstin and Oak anti-aging and anti-wrinkle face serum and this is what that looks like and this is I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale so um, it is a little bit pricey it's like around the $60 mark but this is one of those products that right away you notice a difference my face was really like kind of glowy and illuminated after even just the first week that I was using this so this is something it's also pretty small so I can def I always travel with this too so I've been noticing a great difference in my skin with this I still use my um, Josie Marin argan oil at night and then I still just put this on underneath I really like this Cora's serum so try it out if you're looking for a serum uh, the lady at Sephora recommended it to me for you know someone around my age so if you're 25 and just look Looking for something that you're gonna start doing you have to do the anti-aging anti-wrinkle anti everything just really protect your skin really take care of it because the skin your skin is your skin you know um, so check that out another little skincare thing that I've been liking is it's not really skincare it's more makeup remover and this is the Maybelline clean Express waterproof eye makeup remover and this has taken over as my favorite eye makeup remover because I've, if you've watched me for a while, you know I've always talked about the Sonia Kashuk eye makeup remover, which is really, really great. Uh, but this actually has it be, I think that this removes the makeup even more than that. And I've been just having a hard time. I had been having a hard time removing my mascara with the other, um, with the Sonia Kashuk one, I would have to like use like four like cotton pads to take off all my makeup. Um, but this one is really great and it's re it's like non-greasy, doesn't have oil. So now I have a lot of makeup products that I've just been loving, loving, loving. I feel like in the transition to spring, um, my I like to do a little bit of different face makeup. Um, I love, I usually tend to stick to more like pinkish coral blushes in the summer and in the winter I kind of just move around from a couple of blushes some MAC ones or some Tarte ones that I have but um, I've been loving doing like a peachy more of like a golden cheek and I've been doing that with NARS Madly blush and this was recommended to me from my friend Heather um, and that's what it looks like it's something that is not a typical thing that I think that someone would pick up at you know Sephora because you always think cheeks you know make them bright make them like you know flushed this is gonna just give you a really beautiful glow um, I don't know if you, how the lighting is working but I have contoured a little bit with max harmony and I also have bronzer on but this is what I have on my cheeks and I've just ever since I bought it I've been using it every single day it's been really hard for me to pick another blush just because I love how it looks um, I honestly think this would look great on any skin color, but I love how it looks on my color. I'm a little bit paler, but I am more yellow olive toned. Um, so if you have similar color to me, you can go ahead and order it online. But if you don't, I would suggest you go and like try it on at Sephora and see how it works. Because they do have a couple of like more brownish peaches, golden, warmer blushes. Um, and I know this, this one's just amazing. I'm obsessed with it. 
And at the same time that I was at the at NARS, I did do feature that in my NARS and my Sephora VIB haul. I picked up NARS Albatross highlighter, and oh my gosh, guys, this is the best highlighter. Like, and I have gone on and on about the Dior Amber Diamond highlighter, which I love. I love that highlighter too. This is just something that. I feel like is a little bit more wearable because the 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 amber diamond the one that I have um, and I'm pointing over there because I'm pointing in my bathroom um, it it's gorgeous but it is a little bit of sometimes it can be a little bit too shimmery and this one as you can tell I don't know if you can see it's kind of matte um, I don't know if that picks up well but don't know if that'll show up even on the camera but I have it on right now I really like how it looks um just you know put it on like right here and right here on your cheekbones it just makes your face look so pretty honestly I think these two paired together are just gorgeous if you're gonna you know want to do a little bit of a different summer like cheek look or face look these are awesome so I highly recommend these two I picked up the Too Faced chocolate um Chocolate Soleil in the medium slash deep matte bronzer because I did get the medium deep shade and even though this looks a little bit dark um, it looks really great on the skin so that's that um, you can't even tell on my skin but um, I just use this with a bronzer blush and kind of over my contouring I just you know kind of blend it out a little bit with the bronzer and then I'll just kind of do like a three on my face like that um, and I think it looks really good. So I've been loving this bronzer too. This is a primer that I have been loving. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, Primer. And this is the one that is uh, Skin Smoothing Face Primer. I think there's a couple. This one, like the consistency and like, I mean, it comes out and it's like tan, if that makes sense. It's not your typical, like I know the Benefit one, it like comes out in gel and so does the, or clear. And so does the Tarte one. They come out a little bit more clear. This comes out skin color. It's kind of weird to describe. And this, you have to try it because even when I'm not wearing, like, if I, when I just put this on, sometimes I'm like, wait, did I put my foundation on already? Because it just makes your skin look so flawless, like, really just mattifies everything and also just clears any imperfections, any pores. It just makes your face look really good. So this says to use alone for the look of flawless skin or under makeup. So I understand what it, it could also just be if you're just not feeling makeup that day, just putting a little bit of concealer and putting on this primer. It will just make your face look really nice. Uh, so this is also from Too Faced, like the, the bronzer. I did pick, pick these up together, but did I? Yes, I did. I got these during like an Ulta sale. And I just... I really like this. I think that sometimes it's hard for primers to, you know, kind of differentiate between the two, but this one is awesome. And if you're just looking for a great primer to wear under your makeup um, and just to mattify your T-zone and everything, I would def definitely recommend checking this one out. Another thing that I have been loving, I feel like this is so much, but this is the Naked Basics palette. And I held off so long for this because I was like, you know what? I don't need it. I have the Naked 1. I have the Naked 2. I have the Lorac Pro. I have a bunch of MAC shadows. Like, I was like, I don't need this. Apparently, I did need it because I picked it up and I've been using it every single day. <laughs> so that is what the Naked Basics palette looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, but it's just one of those things that I honestly, when I first got it, I was like, oh, I kind of regret getting it. I don't think that I should have gotten it. But, oh my gosh, my stomach just rumbled. <laughs> um, I think that it's one of those palettes that you just reach for because it's so wearable, so versatile. I've just been loving. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial using this palette on just an everyday eye makeup look. Um, I've, loved been, I've been using Venus and also Naked 2 and Faint for my everyday eye look. Um, there, It's just such a great palette. You would never think something this plain would be something that you would reach for every day. I honestly, I went traveling this past week um, for work. I brought this and the Naked palette. I use this every single day. I took out the Naked palette once. So it's one of those that even, it's so compact. If you're just doing like a weekend, weekend trip or something, just put this in your bag. You don't even have to deal with other eyeshadows or anything. And it's just great. So if you're an addicted, crazy makeup lady like me, you need it. If you're not, still check it out because it's really great. So next up is this um, Fake Up Concealer by Benefit. And I 
have been really liking this using this under my eyes it's very interesting it's like has like a little bit of a clear thing around the stick and I got this in the medium um, I don't know if you can see that but this I honestly got it in the medium because I knew I would be tanning this summer and just like being outside and um, I feel like next time I buy it I'll probably go with the lightest shade but this one is great it's a new product it's very kind of like I don't know different and unique I've never seen a concealer look like this and it honestly covers up dark circles really really well I still use my Laura Mercier corrector underneath and then put this on top and it just I feel like my eyes my under eye circles look great I don't have any problems during the day I don't have to retouch like the the under eye area at all so next I have two lip products and this one is one that I've just been super obsessed with and this is the Dior Addict Lip Gloss in Night Fantasy and I love these lip glosses. They're my favorite. I have a couple of the other ones in some colors um, I have but more pinkish ones. This one even though it looks a little bit scary I feel like you would be like oh that's too like you know winter and everything but this is what I wear on my lips every single day. Again like this one I reach for it. It's like the only lip gloss I brought by accident to my trip. So I was just wearing this every single day. It's so wearable. I think it looks great with like my skin color. It's natural. It's not this like dark berry. Um, but I really, really, really like this lip gloss. And for more going out looks, I've been loving a bright pink lip. Oops. And this one, I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not. This is Max Amplified. And that's what that looks like. Um... And I got this at the CCO, so that's why I'm thinking it might maybe discontinued. Um, but I think there are some similar ones at MAC. But, I mean, even just if you get, like, the Revlon Lip Butter and Lollipop or the Maybelline Whisper and Cherry on top, I think that's what it's called. It's very similar to this. I think a bright pink lip looks so pretty with, like, kind of glowy skin and more of a bronzy, not as dark, um, smoky eye look, which I just think that looks so pretty. But yeah, so that was my April favorites video, and I kind of included a lot of stuff from March, so I, li I like, looked through all my products. I have been picking up so many things, so um, I will do a skincare routine very soon. Just a little bit of an update on me. I'm actually moving in two weeks, not, oh, not from, like, where I live, the city, but I'm moving into a new apartment with my sister, so... I'm really excited because I want to do like some like moving vlogs and I want to do um, like an apartment tour and I'm going to finally do a what's in my bathroom tour, a shower tour, um, you know, maybe like a closet organization tour, all of that because I'm going to have more space, I'm going to have um, just more stuff, I'm going to be able to do more like grocery hauls and stuff like that. So I'm so excited and thank you guys as always for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe because it will make my day and thumbs up if you like the video. But thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!